guys here. Welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be cooking in the crock pot again. I'm loving this crock pot, man. I'm starting to get through all of these meals, these books I have, and things of that nature, these recipes I'm finding online, doctoring them up, switching them up, and things of that nature. Okay, so, so what we found online this time was a recipe for shrimp scampi in the crock pot. But of course, you know, as usual, we're going to add our own few of the ingredients, we're going to change a few things up and do it bad beef style. You know how we do it, okay? So what we're going to make today, this is called shrimp and mushroom scampi, okay? And uh, we're just making a few changes to the uh, original recipe, and we're going to put the link to the original recipe in the description block like I always do, and then I'll put list our um, ingredients and the amount and things of that nature and so forth and so on. Okay, so the, what we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and, and get our ingredients in here, and I'll put the list of ingredients on the screen right here, and we'll go ahead and get this started. Okay, so the uh, the first thing we're gonna do, and let me make sure I get this right. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, our ingredients in the uh, in the crock pot. Let me get my Chardonnay wine out of the way. We stepped it up a little bit for this video. Okay. Hmm. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we have one third cup of minced parsley. Okay, get that down there. Here we have six cloves of finely minced and chopped and diced garlic. So we took six garlic cloves and we minced it up real good. So I'm going to get all that in there. Okay. All right, so the next thing we, uh, we have is we have I think this is a cup and a half of of Chardonnay okay so put our Chardonnay in here our wine all right and we have six tablespoons of olive oil let me get that in there all right and we have three-fourths cup uh, of uh, chicken broth. Now normally I buy low sodium chicken broth that didn't have that this time so we gotta be careful while we're seasoning this that we don't get it over salt or overly salty okay and then uh, another one of our little twists on it is we're putting in one package of sliced portobello baby mushrooms so we put those in there all right all right and we are going to Put in a bunch of a bunch of shrimp or a bunch of swimp, like some people say. Okay, so these shrimp here, uh, they're the medium shrimp, and we've taken all of the shells off of them and all the tails off of them, and uh, the wife cleaned them up and things, and she seasoned them. And what we seasoned them with is Chef Polite's seafood screaming seasoning. Now, this is some good stuff here. If you guys please go out there and check out Chef Polite's website, he has several different rubs and seasons out there you might want to try and uh, so far everyone that I've got from him has tasted real good so check out uh, Chef Polite's website I'll put the information at the bottom of the screen here and in the description block for you to go check him out okay so we're gonna go ahead and put our shrimp in here all right so there we go so we got our shrimp in and let's give everything a good mix now remember, this is a shrimp type scampi, so you're not gonna have this uh, creamy, rich broth. Most of the time, it's really real garlicky, real buttery, and uh, has some, a bright flavor to it. So, all right, so we got that well incorporated there. All right, and last but certainly not least, we are going to take one stick of unsalted butter and lay it right on top. So it, it can melt down and all that goodness can get inside um, and give it a nice buttery, garlicky, you know what you're shooting for. So, yeah. so anyway, we're going to put the top on this bad boy and we're going to cook this on high for an hour and a half. And then uh, we're going to come back and we're going to dish this up for a quick taste test. The wife is upstairs cooking some angel hair pasta right now. So hey, come back, don't go away, and we're going to show you just what we concocted here. Okay guys, so it has been one and a half hours and um, 
It smells great. I can smell the garlic and the butter. And so let's go ahead and see exactly what we have here. Boy, that looks good. Now, what's good about this not cooking more than an hour and a half is that the shrimp still maintains some of its size and the mushrooms didn't shrink. They actually sat in there, got soft and absorbed a lot of the broth down here. So it smells real good. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, dish up some and have a quick taste test. All right, let's go ahead and dish up a little bit. Well, it looks like you got the parsley, nice broth, limp, uh, buttery, garlicky broth, and just like what it's supposed to look like. Let's get a few mushrooms in here. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. This smells great. Oh, one, one final touch. I have some lemon wedges here because when you talk about sh shrimp scampi or any type of scampi, you want the, uh, to brighten up the dish with a little bit of lemon juice. So we can cut some lemon wedges here, and we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice on here. And let's see what we got. Mm. Oh yeah, this is real good. Now, the only thing I would probably do a little bit different is maybe add a little bit, a little salt in the to it because uh, because we use unsalted butter. So I think you can rectify that by actually using salted butter. Uh, but I want to try to control the salt content so we can uh, add some salt and pepper and a little bit more seasoning after the fact. But this tastes fantastic. The, mm, mm. the shrimp tastes great with Chef Police, Chef Polite's screaming seafood seasoning. Uh, the brightness of the lemon, the, the like I said, the mushrooms are, they have the liquid, they, they're soft and things, but still maintain some of their firmness, so they're, they're meaty, so they definitely add some body to the dish, and it's not too oily. Uh, I thought it was going to be a little oily with the olive oil and the butter, but it's uh, it's right on time. So uh, this is better than any shrimp scampi that you could ever buy in the store out of the freezer section. So, well... That's all we have time for. The wife is waiting to go ahead and eat, so I better go ahead and get this video wrapped up. Uh, once again, don't forget to go out and check out Chef Polite's uh, website. Uh, he's got some great seasonings out there, and he's got some great cooking tips out there because he is the creator of It's Only Food. So check him out and give him some love. Tell him Bad Beast sent you over there, okay? So, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. But bring your crock pot sometime, plug it in, and do a little something indoors. Hey, as always, much love, and see you guys around the smoke.